If you find yourself chronically fighting drowsiness during the day despite getting at least seven hours of shut-eye, you may want to be evaluated for sleep apnea. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie! Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that is thought to affect nearly 30 million people in the United States, or about 12% of the population. Because this condition is something that occurs at night, many people don't even know they have it. Sleep apnea is dangerous and can lead to some major health problems like diabetes, heart disease, depression, and obesity. Thankfully, it's treatable, and in today's video, we'll tell you the best ways to get rid of it. From using CPAP machines, oral appliances, quitting smoking, using humidifiers to oral facial therapy and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. First, what exactly is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder that happens when a person's breathing is interrupted. It's caused by a blockage of the airway, usually when the soft tissue in the back of the throat collapses. People with untreated sleep apnea stop breathing repeatedly during their sleep, sometimes hundreds of times. Apart from causing diseases like hypertension, stroke, and heart failure, untreated sleep apnea can cause job impairment, work-related incidents, and motor vehicle crashes. When you stop breathing, your heart rate also tends to drop the longer your body is deprived of oxygen. Then, your involuntary reflexes cause you to startle awake. When this occurs, your heart rate tends to accelerate quickly and your blood pressure rises. How many times do you wake up suddenly every night? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Now, let's talk about treatment options. Number 1. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure or CPAP Machine if you have moderate to severe sleep apnea, you might benefit from using a machine that delivers air pressure through a mask while you sleep. With CPAP, the air pressure is just enough to keep your upper airway passages open, preventing apnea and snoring. Although CPAP is the most reliable method of treating sleep apnea, some people find it uncomfortable. They tend to give up on the CPAP machine, but with practice, most people can adjust to a comfortable and secure fit. You might need to try more than one type of mask to find one that's comfortable. Don't stop using the CPAP machine if you have problems. Check with your doctor to see what changes can be made to increase your comfort. Additionally, contact your doctor if you're still snoring or begin snoring despite treatment. If your weight changes, the pressure settings of the CPAP machine might need to be adjusted. Number 2. Other Airway Pressure Devices If using a CPAP machine continues to be a problem, you might be able to use a different type of airway passage device that automatically adjusts pressure while you sleep. These are auto CPAP machines. BiPAP also is available. These provide more pressure when you inhale and less when you exhale. Number 3. Oral Appliances Oral appliances continue to increase in popularity as they're an effective first-line treatment for many sleep apnea sufferers. Over 100 different oral appliances are FDA-approved for snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. These appliances are worn in the mouth, just like a sports mouth guard or an orthodontic appliance while you sleep. Oral appliances hold the lower jaw forward just enough to keep the airway open and prevent the tongue and muscles in the upper airway from collapsing. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine has approved oral appliance therapy, or OAT, as a first-line treatment for patients diagnosed with mild to moderate sleep apnea. The AASM also recommends oral appliances for patients with severe apnea who cannot wear CPAP devices. Another option for people with severe sleep apnea is combination therapy, which involves wearing CPAP and an oral appliance together. This helps reduce the pressure on the CPAP machine, making it more comfortable to use. Have I caught your interest? Well then hit that subscribe button and watch more videos! Join our millions of followers for more amazing Bestie content! Number 4. Adaptive Servo Ventilation, or ASV this more recently approved airflow device learns your normal breathing pattern and stores the information in a built-in computer. After you fall asleep, the machine uses pressure to normalize your breathing pattern and prevent pauses. ASV appears to be more successful at treating complex sleep apnea in some people. However, it might not be a good choice for people with predominant central sleep apnea and advanced heart failure. Moving on, let's talk about a few natural remedies for sleep apnea. Number 5. Maintain a healthy weight Doctors commonly recommend people with sleep apnea to lose weight. Obesity, specifically in the upper body, can increase the risk of airway obstruction and narrow nasal passages. These obstructions can cause you to stop breathing suddenly or for lengths of time while sleeping. Maintaining a healthy weight can keep your airways clear and reduce sleep apnea symptoms. Research shows that modest weight reduction in people with obesity can eliminate the need for upper airway surgery or long-term CPAP therapy. In some cases, weight loss can eliminate sleep apnea. However, if you regain the weight, it's possible for the condition to return. Number 6. Eat Healthy 
One of the easiest home remedies is to simply eat healthier. This improves the quality of your sleep while helping you shed excess pounds. It's important to remember that eating healthy is not about being restrictive, but choosing foods that are going to fuel your body the right way and keep your energy levels up. Number 7. Exercise Regularly Consistent exercise goes hand in hand with a healthy diet to help combat obstructive sleep apnea. Studies have proven that exercise isn't just about maintaining a certain type of physique. It can also improve heart health, boost mood, and of course, keep your sleep schedule as healthy as possible. Number 8. Try sleeping on your side Though most sleep experts recommend sleeping on your back, if you have sleep apnea, the side sleeping position is going to be a lot better for you. If you're struggling to adapt to sleep in your new position, switching your sleep setup can help. Whether you choose memory foam or a hybrid mattress, be sure to find something that properly supports your body. A body pillow can also help support you as you sleep on your side without causing discomfort. Number 9. Quit Smoking Smoking is bad for many reasons. One of them is that it can cause sleep apnea. Smoking increases inflammation and fluid retention in your throat and upper airway, and those things can block the airway. When people with sleep apnea quit smoking, they usually experience some relief. Number 10. Honey A teaspoon of honey before bed may help you sleep more soundly. It has anti-inflammatory properties, which may reduce swelling around the throat area. It also helps with snoring because it acts as a lubricant for the throat. Add a tablespoon of honey to a glass of warm water and drink it before going to bed. The trick is to make sure you're using raw, unpasteurized honey. Apart from easing sleep apnea symptoms, there are other benefits of honey which are far lesser known. Learn more by watching Benefits of Applying Honey Under Your Eyes and Other Tips. Now back to unbeatable ways to treat sleep apnea. Number 11. Epsom Salt Bath an Epsom salt bath before bed has been a remedy for better sleep for generations, for good reason. The magnesium in Epsom salts can relax the muscles and create a feeling of well-being that could lead to a more comfortable sleep. Add Epsom salts to a warm bath and soak for 20 minutes. It's one of the most relaxing home remedies for sleep apnea. Number 12. Raise the head of your bed. Sleeping with your head elevated can significantly reduce sleep apnea symptoms, according to a study. Patients who slept on a special neck pillow or who slept on a bed that was angled to have the head higher saw a reduction in the number of sleep apnea incidents per night, as well as better oxygen saturation. Number 13. Humidify Your Home there's nothing worse for your sleep than dry air. Using a humidifier in your home will put moisture in the air, which will decongest you, open your airways, and encourage clearer breathing. If you would like to increase the benefits of your humidifier, add peppermint, eucalyptus, or lavender oil for soothing and anti-inflammatory benefits. Number 14. Avoid alcohol and certain medications before bed. If you usually have a nightcap, you'll probably breathe better if you skip it. Alcohol and certain medications, particularly tranquilizers, sedatives, and muscle relaxants, relax the muscles of the throat, which can contribute to airway blockage during sleep. If you drink alcohol, stopping several hours before bedtime may relieve your sleep apnea. If you regularly take a sedative or muscle relaxant, talk with your doctor. Perhaps another medication could be substituted. While these methods can help you deal with sleep apnea, getting a good night's sleep is one of the best ways to tackle it. Learn how you can sleep better at night by watching 10 Life Hacks to Get a Good Night's Sleep or 12 Proven Tips to Sleep Better at Night. How many hours do you sleep every night? Let us know in the comment section below.